Back as the Department of Justice's investigation continues, more suicides and murders are happening within Georgia's prisons. The federal government launched an investigation in fall of 2021 into dangerous conditions inside prisons. Now, a continuing problem for federal investigators, family of deceased prisoners, and the media finding answers on hundreds of deaths inside those prison walls. One of the most recent deaths involved a Cochrane man, Maurice Jenkins, found dead in Coastal State Prison last week. Ashlyn Webb joins us live in studio with more on his case. Yes, Frank and Lori, we still don't have many answers from state authorities on how Jenkins died. Up until this afternoon, the Department of Corrections wouldn't confirm any details and told us via email that it was up to the family to release information. But it was Jenkins' sister who asked us for help trying to find out how her brother died in state custody. Now, the state says they're investigating his death as an alleged suicide. And if something happened to him, they killed him. They have, he told me they have done it before and covered it up as a suicide. That's Charita Jenkins, Maurice Jenkins' sister. She says she was in shock Wednesday morning when she received this text from an inmate in the prison saying to check on her brother and that he heard Jenkins allegedly hung himself two hours earlier. Jenkins says she immediately started driving to the prison and calling to get answers. No one answered. No one gave me any answers at the prison. Jenkins claims hours passed and that no one from the prison told her until an employee who stated he was the warden walked out and confirmed. When I tell you the breath and the wind came out of me and all I said was, sir, why no one called me? Why? Jenkins says authorities left her and her family with unanswered questions on how her brother died and also when guards last checked his cell. She says Jenkins had no signs of mental health problems. He had done nine of 12 years. He already had a plan to come home. Jenkins says authorities refused to let her see his body until Friday, two days after Jenkins died. She claims he looked as though he'd been beaten and suffered from malnutrition. His lips were swollen like someone had punched him in the mouth. His nose was swollen. Jenkins says she believes her brother was murdered. Again, the prison says they suspect he died from suicide, but the coroner's office is still investigating. Lori. Thank you, Ashland. Tonight we're taking a closer look at death investigations in